Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another episode of the Road to Eternal Glory or Road to Legacy. Still can't remember what I've named this series, but it's the career mode where we start off with HC Milan and we move on through the seasons and we change teams. We win everything we can with Milan within two seasons and then we move on to another club. Guys, I'm loving this series. It's been phenomenal and I'm going to start this off by dropping something in here. Would you guys be happy for me to head over to the EAF catalog or whatever it's called and scout a future star? Now, this is something I'm using on my live stream with my Frank Lampard save, um, which again, if you guys would like me to upload that onto YouTube, let me know in the comments down below. I do have it uploaded, just haven't made it public. It's up to you guys. Let me know whether you'd want that or not. Uh, but would you like me to use this? It'll be a play we use with us throughout the whole of the career mode. We'll sign in wherever we go and yeah. It's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below whether you'd like that. Also, let me know if you want the Frank Lampard save to be up on the YouTubes. I will be live streaming it tomorrow night, which is Friday. So be aware with that one, guys. Um, but here we are, Real Betis. We are doing phenomenal. We are currently unbeaten in everything we do. We are un we've won our first game in the Europa League. And if we head over to the... Copa Nacionala, which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to head over to, where is it, where is it, where is it? Serie A. Um, head over to Serie A, look at that. Played seven, won five, drawn two, no losses. We've only conceded four goals. Donnarumma is a beast. I love him. I absolutely love him. But this team has just come on. We made some mega changes. Memphis to Pine Cotreni up top are just phenomenal. Ericsson in that camp position, phenomenal. I mean, Sanchez and Don. oh. This team, I'm in love with it. Guys, if you're new to the series and you're enjoying it so far, leave a like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated to me. We're so close to that 400 subscriber mark. I mean, if we can hit it before February, which is tomorrow, that before the end of Feb, which is tomorrow, that would be amazing. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens, guys. We're going to jump into our game here against Real Betis. We'll also replace because it's just our right back that's currently injured, as I'm just going to make sure that my TV is muted so you haven't got any background noise. Guys, if you don't know how we do this, I'll show you the highlights of the game. It is ultimate difficulty, five minute halves. This is the team we're taking into this game in the Europa League. Fingers crossed we get a win. Guys, I'll see you at the Estadio Benitia Villarama. Nailed it. <laughs> but guys, I'll see you there. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, leave a subscribe. It would be much appreciated to me. Let's do this. Let's get a win. So then here we are, the Real Betis Stadium, where we are going to absolutely destroy these guys, hopefully. Um, hey, I'm not getting I'm not getting cocky. I don't want to because the team is just fantastic. I love playing with it. Ericsson and Depay are by far two massive players. Depay is my favourite, second favourite player I've ever used on a career mode. And um, the other one is Ndombele. If you know me and Ndombele, I love that guy. He's a player I do want to sign. At some point um, with AC Milan, probably next season um, when we lose Bakayoko and Kessaye. But hey, I love the changes we've made. Um, like always, I'll show you the highlights of the game. We'll stick with it at the start, first 10 minutes more or less. Well, first five minutes and see what happens. But Pequeta's also done brilliantly um, this season. As we talk about him, he's on the ball there. Goes into Bonaventura here. Bonaventura's just going to drag this one back. Needs a bit of help. He's actually still got it here. Where is the help? There's Depay into Ericsson. Ericsson needs help. Ah, oh, he's just been tackled there. But guys, like always, I'm going to show you the highlights of the game. I always do. I show you anything that happens that's interesting. Um, and I show you, and I miss out anything that's quite boring. Fingers crossed we have a bit more of an entertaining, entertaining game than we did against Napoli. As we're on the ball here with Memphis. Memphis to Pai. See what he can do. Nice little bit of skill. Sees Bonaventura here. Bonaventura with the strike eyes. Good defending. But guys, I'll show you any highlights that occur. Good Pequeta. Now what can we do? Bonaventura into Cortrone. Cortrone sees to Pai. Depay needs help here. Sees the run of Rodriguez. The veteran Rodriguez. Sees in the middle. Oh, it's gone back post. But we get the ball here from that poor clearance. So it's into Pequeta. Pequeta with the... Pequeta with the goal. What a goal it was by the young man. I mean, this guy, he was a part of this team. We didn't bring him in. He was already part of this team. And he's come into the team and he's done brilliantly. I rate him so much. He's a player that I'd never heard of before this save. Um, Pequeta. I'm not going to lie. I've never heard of him. But look at this for a strike. Bonaventura gets that ball down. Into Pequeta. Saw the gap. Boom. 1-0, guys. What a way to start this game against Real Betis. We have been the better team. They haven't tested us. Um, but that's really the first proper shot on target. It's 1-0. Let's try and make it 2. Here they come. They're passing it nicely here as they come into our half just before half time. This would be a kick in the teeth, that is for sure, if they get a goal here. Poor pass. 
Well, no, it's a good pass. It's actually a brilliant pass, but luckily Ericsson's there covering it. Now we've got a minute, half a minute left to defend this. Ball comes in. Davidson and Sanchez is there. Now, half time. It's 1 0. And guys, I don't know. It's been pretty boring for you guys. You wouldn't have seen much more, of the, more or less just the goal that we scored. Um, I do apologise. I thought it was a bit more energetic than what it was. But when I look back at it, not much happened. They didn't really get it. They haven't really had a shot. Uh, we haven't really done much ourselves. But we've still got a whole half left. Um, as Memphis Depay is on it here and we get the free kick. Um, we still have a whole half left. We do look good on the attack. On the attack, we always look dangerous. But it's just that final pass, that final clinical pass. We're just not putting it through like we usually have done in the past. But here we go, Davidson and Sanchez. Not really the shooter from distance, um, Sanchez isn't. But it's into Paqueta. Paqueta cuts it inside. Needs help. Sees Ericsson. Ericsson, what can Ericsson do? Drag it back. Onto his right foot. Good defending. Good training. Is that a goal or is it offside? I think he's offside. Oh, he's offside. Oh, that was a brilliant, brilliantly struck by um, Cotrone. Um, but I don't know why, I was about to say, I don't know what happened to the camera angle there. Brilliantly struck by Cotrone. Just a little bit outside, but can we go on the counter-attack here? As Bakayoko has made that run in. Bakayoko, fake shot, cuts inside, needs a bit of help. Sees um, Abate, goes into Pequita. Pequita with a strike. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in off the keeper. We are 2-0 up. And I mean, Pequita is... Done brilliantly. Pequeta has been fantastic. He's taken the shots. And, I mean, we got a bit of luck there. It's hit the crossbar and come back and hit the keeper. But it's 2-0 in the Europa League, in the group stages. This is a doddle. This is a doddle with this team. This team, bring Celtic Josh in real life. Give me give me the actual job in real life. I'll sort this AC Milan team out. But what a goal. Pequeta is just been fantastic. It's actually counted as his goal. So, I'll take that one. It is 2-0. Brilliant way to start the second half. Ericsson's here now. Ericsson is becoming a bit more of a playmaker in the second half. Cotrone sees Memphis Depay. Depay. Oh, nice little bit of skill by Memphis. Memphis cuts it back onto his stronger foot with a finish. He smacked the crossbar. He smacked the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. Brilliantly played by the lads there. Brilliant little bit of skill that got Depay into that position. Um, but we just couldn't get the finishing touch. Oh, guys, that would have been fantastic. Sees Bonaventura. Bonaventura sees Abate out wide here. Abate's got it. Sees Cortrone making that run. Is Cortrone going to get there? He smacked the post again. How many times do we want to hit the post in this game? Oh my days. That would work. That would work. Has saved Real Betis from an absolute thrash in this match. But they're coming on the counter. Back here goes there. But oh my days. Brilliant ball from um, Donnarumma. Goes into Abate. Abate sees Cortrone. Cortrone sees Christian Eriksen. Christian Eriksen, first time strike, it's a brilliant save, he went for it, Eriksen went for it, it's now Coltrane, sorry, it mustn't have been Coltrane, as that was him there, but it's into Bonaventura here, oh, he was he was thinking about it, but didn't see it, but sees Bakayoko, sees Paqueta, Paqueta into Rodriguez, Rodriguez into the mixer, it doesn't happen, we get the corner ball, um, Paqueta's going to come off for Kessaye, we're going to give Kessaye the nod here, Paqueta's had a brilliant game, but Eriksen whips this one in, who's there? Second ball. Oh, what a save. Was that Kessaye coming straight off the bench? Um, Abate for Caldara. Make that sub. Um, but that was a chance to make it through. We get another corner here. Winners. No, Ericsson's going to get there, though. Ericsson's going to get here. He's not offside. He can't be because it came off their player. Cortrone goes into Rodriguez. Rodriguez into Bonaventura. Bonaventura with the strike. Oh, it's poor. It was a chance. It's just not going in. It's not going in for us, guys. But what a game this has been the second half. Kessay needs help. Sees Ericsson. Ericsson sees Rodriguez. Ericsson has been a hub in that midfield position. He's played through everything. And there we go. It's into Kessay. Strikes it. It's close. It's close. I mean, like I keep saying, we're getting the opportunities. We're just not going in the back of the net. I don't know why. Um, but it's Ericsson. I mean, is he playing in that camp position? He is. He's just been phenomenal. He's been brilliant. I would slated him at half time. But second half, he's come out. And he's been a hub in that midfield. But we win that there. It's into Depay. Goes into Cortrone. Back into Depay. Depay sees, Co sees Ericsson here. Ericsson cuts it in. Back post. Second ball. Kessay with the strike. It's a brilliant save by the keeper. Winners. I mean, Calabria is here. I mean, we've still got it. Goes into um, whoever that is. Ericsson with the strike. Ericsson gets the goal. I didn't know who it was, but... He's deserved it. I've been, I've been saying he's been brilliant in today's game. He cost us more or less 90 million. 
And what a player he is. He is fantastic. Look at this. It's a brilliant little drag back by the um, right back. Into Casillo. And then boom. It's 3-0. And this couldn't have gone better, guys. Cortrone sees that ball. What a ball that is into Memphis. 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 Referee. Referee. Surely that's a red card. That's got to be a red card. That is atrocious. What is Ali at the card? He's clear through on goal. He's our last player. Referee. And it's not even... It's a, it's a free kick. It's not even a penalty. Oh, man. Now, let's have a look here. Who's got the best curve? We're going to go with Ericsson. We're going to go with Ericsson. Um, let's just try something here. Ericsson. I mean, it was worth a go. He had a chance. It just didn't go in the back of the net. But I don't know how that was not a red card. Guys, it's full time. It's a 3-0 victory in the Europa League. And what a performance it was by the lads. They didn't have a single shot on target, I don't think. If we have a look at the um, stats here. Boom, they didn't have a single shot all game. It's been all Milan. Their woodwork saved them so many times. But we get their 3-0 win, which is all that matters in the grand scheme of things. We move on. We have a simulation to play. And we also have a league game to play. But I'll see you at the simulation, guys. Or if anything happens in between. So guys, here we are, the simulation against Chievo, or however you pronounce it. Don't have a clue how you pronounce their name. Um, they're playing the same formation as us, 4-3-1-2. They're playing it a little bit more narrower than we are. We've got the stronger team. I mean, you look at this team, we should not be losing this game. We really shouldn't. Bonaventura gets a yellow card, unfortunately, though, which is not ideal. But he goes and finds us the first goal, which is fantastic. Um, Depay, Cotrone, are you going to get him a sc score sheet? No, they've actually equalised to make it 1-1. Damn. Memphis Depay, there you go. He's going to make it 2-1. What a performance. See if we can make it 3. If we can make it 3, I'll be so much happier. Make one more sub for me. There you go. Suso's come on for Cotrone. And we get a 2-1 victory there, which keeps our unbeaten run in the league, which is fantastic. But we now have a game coming up. I can't remember who it's against. These are the players we're training at the minute. Davidson Sanchez working on him. I want to get him to an 86, 87 rated. Cotrone, I want him to an 83 rated before we switch him out uh, for someone else. But I think we're playing um, Inter Milan. I'm pretty sure I said we're playing. There we go. We have a derby day. It's against Milan. We're away from home, but we're not. It's still the same stadium, but we're playing against Milan. Um, we have a couple of messages to have a quick look at here. Press conference, not too bothered about. Calabria's come back from injury, which is brilliant. Means we can work on him in training. Suspension is over. Don't know who that was for. But guys, we're going to move on into this game against Inter Milan. It's a massive game. First v second. It's Derby della Mandon Madonna Nailed it. That's all I'm going to say. But this is our first derby day. It's going to be massive. See what we can do against Inter Milan, guys. So then, guys, here we are. Derby day at the San Siro. It's looking blue and black, unfortunately. And not red and black. But the San Siro, here we are. Against Inter Milan, this is not going to be an easy game. It's going to be very, very tough indeed. Um, so much history in this match. AC against Inter. Who's going to win? Fingers crossed it's an AC Milan victory. We'll see what happens. Guys, leave a like and subscribe if you stuck with me this far into the episode. It'd be much appreciated. So if we get a big win here, first three seconds, this team is capable of it. That is all I'm going to say. Um, as we're on it here with Ericsson. Tries a little heel toe, but it doesn't work. But yeah, if you stuck with us this far, leave a like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. Um, but Icardi's on the ball here, actually. Strikes it, and they very nearly went 1-0 up. But guys, let's see what we can do. Now, what can we do here? But Pequeta manages to find Ericsson into Depay. Depay needs a bit of help here. He's just keeping it. Sees Bonaventura. Bonaventura to Cortrone. Cortrone sees Ericsson. Ericsson first time. Ericsson with the goal. That's what we needed. We haven't really had a chance this half. It's been very much into Milan's way. But we have finally broken through. That's all we needed. All we need is one shot. And it's games like this where that one goal could make a huge difference. We make it 1-0. And... Could not be happier. Look at this. It's a brilliant ball in. It's 1-0. Brilliant finish. Handanovic was never getting to that. Ericsson, you beast. Thank you very much. Let's do this, Milan. Here we go. Bakayoko sees the run there. It's Calabria. Calabria is back from injury. Calabria. What can he do? Can he whip, whip a magical ball in? No, we can't. But we're going to get the second ball here. Bakayoko. Yes, he does. Rodriguez goes into Bonaventura. Pequeta. Pequeta sees um, Ericsson. Ericsson with the strike. Brilliant bit of defending. It's going to go straight to Handanovic. No, it isn't. He punches it away, but 
Cotrone's offside, unfortunately. Guys, we look good when we attack. Every single time we attack, we look good. Ericsson now. Sees Depay. Depay needs help. Sees Calabria. What a ball that is into Calabria. What can Calabria do here? Drags it back. Cuts it in. Left foot. Depay's there. Oh, it was a chance. Depay from a yard out. Brilliant save by Handanovic. Handanovic did just enough there. But we get the throw. Can we do anything from the throw here? As it goes into Bakayoko. Into Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Oh, no. We're getting the chances. We've eased into the game now. We finally got our foot down. I mean, that was close. That was close. It was a brilliant chance again. Still 1-0. Almost half time. Come on, they see. Brozovic goes into Nangolan. Oh, here they come. Brilliant strike. Donnarumma. Thank you very much, my friend. It's still in play. I thought that had gone out of play. We've given away a penalty. I didn't even press anything. Calabria, I was holding A. Calabria's just took his legs out in the 47th minute. Oh no, what's going to happen here? Icardi's running up to this one. Icardi, of course he has. He's black, bagged it. Bottom corner, sent on a room of the wrong way just before half time. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking moments here at the San Zero. But, guys, it is half time, more or less, if the ref blows for it. There we go, it's half time. We have been very, very strong. We've eased into the game. Um. We just need to get our finishing sorted. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to keep it how it is to jump into the second half. Guys, if we sort our finishing out, we will win this game comfortably. But if we don't, it's going to be a struggle. Brilliant closing down. But you've got to get that second ball, Cotrone. They're on the ball now. Nangolan. Brilliant. Ramon Gali yet again. But Nangolan gets it into Perisic. Perisic into Fischalco. Oh, Ramon Gali. So they've got a throw here. Nacho's on it. Ericsson, get that ball. No. Nacho. What can Nacho do here? Whips it in. Donnarumma, you've got to get there. Donnarumma, you've got to get there. It's on your six-yard box. Donnarumma, what is that? Donnarumma, you've got to get that. That's in your six-yard area, my friend. You're young. You've got a lot of learning. I'm heartbroken. We cannot take our first loss of the season to Inter Milan. It just cannot happen, guys. Bakayoku goes into Chinaglu here. Chinaglu into Castillo. Castillo goes into Rodriguez here. Rodriguez needs help. Oh, we're breaking it out wide here. Brilliant little bit, bit of play. It's gone into Ericsson. That wasn't meant for Ericsson. Uh, Calabria needs help. Calabria needs help. Oh, no, come on. Get it to the right players, lads. Lads, come on. We'll get a throw. We've got two minutes left. Two minutes. Here we go. What can we do? It's Castillo is on the ball. Sees Bakayoko here. Back it, they, they are defending like 1-0 and I can't blame them, but it goes into Ericsson. Ericsson with the strike. Second ball, Ericsson! Guys, there's two minutes left. We've got us on the counter-attack. It's all done with. We've lost this game. It's going to be the biggest defeat of the season. We're actually on it here. Chinaglu sees Coltrane. We got it through. We're in with Coltrane here. Suso, sorry. Suso. Gets it to Ericsson. Ericsson and Danovic with the save. We've got a corner. We've got a corner. Everyone's up. Everyone's up. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a poor corner. Second ball. No, he's gone right on the edge of the box. Ref, what are you doing? How have we done this? The first loss of the season comes to Inter Milan out of everyone. Don't the room, you've, we've had, we had chances, we had chances, we just didn't do it, it's a very even game. Oh guys, I'm devastated, I'm actually devastated about that result. We've got to be winning that game. Oh, I don't know what my headphones doing, but we've got to be winning that game. Out of every game to lose, it had to be that one. It had to be that one. Guys, I'm absolutely heartbroken. As you can tell, I, the one game I did not want to lose was against Inter Milan. That means our first loss of the season comes to the team we, the team we definitely didn't want to lose to, Inter Milan. We're going to simulate this um, Europa League game to end the episode, guys. If you've enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm heartbroken about that loss. Um, we've done brilliantly. The team is fantastic. We are pushing to win everything this season. As Rodriguez gets a missed penalty, I don't know why he's on penalties. Um, but if you've enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below whether you think I should assign a future star from the catalogue and we stick with him throughout the whole of this campaign. Um, also, let me know if you want to see the Frank Lampard career mode on the YouTube channel. We're winning 1-0.
It looks like it's going to stay that way. It's called Johnny Founders, the back of the net. It is a 1 0 win. We're through, I think, more or less now in the Europa League. But look at that. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking to see we have lost to Inter Milan. Guys, tomorrow, the next episode, you'll probably see a game, another big game, and it'll be this one here. We'll be playing Juve and we'll be playing Olympiacos as our final game in the. Um, Europa League group stage. And then we'll be moving on all the way to the Champions for window for Saturday's episode. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Boom. Don't forget, I might be streaming tomorrow night on Twitch.tv. Link to my Twitter is down below. Follow me on there. You'll get all up-to-date information. Guys, have an awesome day. See you tomorrow. Leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.